you imagine they made a new episode of Little Bill where he realizes what he becomes? So he tries to alter the course of history and says, I'm not gonna be you! I'm not gonna be you, Bill! I'm Ryan, there's uh, JJ yeah. over there, and between JJ and I is Dev. That's that's how you shoot the show. We had to cut out like 20 minutes of Dev not wanting to do this, the intro, no, it, at all. It was it was only 15. 15 okay. hours, yeah. actually. <laughs> at no. least, yeah. We have too many topics to so talk many. about. Like, in fact, too many that I had to brief them on all the shit that we had to talk about today. Do you want to lead us in with one? Dev. Anyone? Dev? <laughs> Stop, don't make me do it again. <laughs> Just pick a topic, one Come topic, on. we got so many. One, Come on. One topic, the YouTuber, topic. Uh, I pick that yeah. topic. Just I kidding. don't know that one. Um, how about the Knuckles Ooh. series? Like before this recording, I showed them a video of Knuckles the Echidna from Sonic. Wow. And he's having a Paramount Plus series, and it doesn't look shit. Like, Yippee. they put in a lot of money into it. And Dev was like, why does this look bad? Hmm? I, Interesting. I, no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's just because, you know, like, when whenever they make... Um, like CGI TV shows, it's always like way worse than like what you would see in a movie. Uh, for example, the fucking Mega Mind oh shit. The Mega Mind. Yeah, we loved series. it. Go check out the previous episode if you haven't seen that one. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's a little promo uh, as you're one, talking. <laughs> this one's quality, the Knuckle series quality, is almost as good as from what I remember of, of watching the the movies. It's that Viacom money, you know, Nickelodeon and the rest, all their MTV, and they have MTV, right? Yeah. Google search, yeah, they get MTV. You excited, JJ? You're a big Knuckles fan, a big Sonic head. Oh, I'm a big Sonic head. I can't wait yeah. to get Paramount Plus, but then I have to also attach the N Knuckles game console part to get like the full <laughs> series. Yeah, because you still use a TiVo for some reason, and basically you just have to plug it into the back of that yeah. thing, and unless it doesn't short circuit, you should be fine. Yeah, so if you don't want to buy the TV, by the way, if you guys just have Sonic 2 on DVD, if you just put that in there, just yeah. cram it in there until it breaks and snaps, it'll play. That'd be extremely funny if they said, but if you bought the Sonic 2 DVD, just put it in and install the update, and there it is. No, because then how do they make their <laughs> money? Is. By charging you five extra bucks. Ooh, just, just five extra bucks. That's not a bad idea. Speaking of streaming services, all of the one that we use, Crunchyroll, which is what the show is on. Just kidding, I it's wouldn't. not. Uh, so Crunchyroll. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I say, what the fuck it could be. About? Can you imagine if... I, I was like, you could just been watching this at Crunchyroll for some reason. For some reason. What a, what a weird brand deal. But no, Crunchyroll is getting rid of all Funimation, and if you... Like, they just destroyed no it entirely. Fun. And if you bought shit off of it digitally, go fuck yourself. Yep. You don't get to keep it. Which is... And they're apparently charging people $100 a year now. That is... Ex brand <laughs> That's why I say, always get <laughs> the, the physical media bullshit. Get a DVD, a VHS, whatever it is. It, it's... A Betamax. A Betamax. An 8-track. HD DVD. Now you're just being smartass. But listen. Do you know any other any other failed formats? Books. P PSP UMD. VHS. We already said that. VHS, VHS was not a failure. Stop. VHS. VHS is awesome. Uh, I own UN a shit ton of VHS tapes. Where are the yeah. sticks that you put in PlayStation P P PlayStation portables? PSP. N yeah, the PSP, not the UMD disc, mm. but like their own SD card variant. What was that called? PSP. I think you mean. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it, it was called. Something. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna put it I up know on I, screen, I bought a I PSP Mini one time, and it had the entirety of the Boondocks yep. on it. The Boondocks, the show, or Boondocks Saints, the movie. The show, but I wouldn't be surprised if the movie was hiding somewhere there. <laughs> I didn't dig deep. Yeah, I finish that. I really want to. I remember when I first saw the PSP Mini, I was like, "Oh, that looks so cool!" But that's all digital. It's all digital. So it's like, oh, I can't put my can't put my discs in there. But you know, it is important. Can't put, my, can't put your dick in there either. Can't put it in there. Can't put it in the regular <laughs> one too. They actually have a little thing in the PSP manual that says, "Please don't put your dick in here." Well, that <laughs> and that was in the first model. Like people wanted to do that even before it released. What does that well, mean? Well, that's why they're supply and demand. They have the PSP. You can fit your penis in this one. Full name. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently the Switch Two is releasing next month. Aren't you excited, JJ? Didn't you already buy a Switch? I'm so numb. <laughs> I'm so numb yep. to everything at this point, man. Why, why would you even release? I mean, what what do you? They they're the gonna release the Switch Two, and the graphics, like you, I think we said, are gonna be like what on par with the PlayStation PS4. 4. And but you know that's equivalent what? to actually uh, the Steam Deck. Really? Yeah, people love that shit. And also the Asus sponsor segment, the Asus Rog Ally. You can buy it Best Buy wow! right now. Not, we're not sponsored by them. Again, another sponsor that we don't. I probably would have bought it. No, um, <laughs> considering insert sponsor here. Yeah, insert sponsor here. If you want. To pay us something, a hundred bucks. Email me at this wow. email, and we'll put your ad right here, and we'll split it three ways somehow. So you know, what? pay us ninety nine dollars. It's way easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Each. send us a Crunchyroll subscription. Yeah, that that'd be worth it. But apparently. I'm gonna read this because I haven't really, I haven't read this to you. This is n breaking news for you. Uh, the next generation of Xbox consoles is supposedly having a home system and a cheaper portable system in, in which you can dock. They're so like 
The They're really, switch. yeah, these guys are really bumping their heads together. This is the one thing I'll, I, I always say, is that for as far behind as people like to say Nintendo is, everything they do is yeah. innovative. Like, everyone is just, yeah. like, following right behind them. Like, when the fucking Wii became a big thing and everyone had to connect, everyone tried to have, like, the sensors and all that. And, like, how the original Game Boy had a penis port and PlayStation mm-hmm. copied that. I remember that. Oh, so I you were supposed that. to do Very that. weird. Okay. Yeah, it was actually for carrots, oh. but people people found it. I'm just saying, yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. And supposedly, Sony, the PlayStation people, are also making a another portable device that's not the portal or whatever it was called but a standalone device because i guess the steam deck did super fucking well wow. good for them Can you imagine that steam making a product that makes everyone like it forces them to make a new product catalog again that's steam in a nutshell like though, man. they fucking they revolutionize yeah. everything like i remember back in the day you had steam like you had to download it just to play half-life 2 mm-hmm. or whatever on the t- computer like that's all you had and people sound- found some source files this this is in our topics as well uh, apparently in the source files for the Counter-Strike 2, they found some residual code for some secret Half-Life games. What? Yeah, don't get your hopes up. It was stuff like Half-Life Citadel and like some other Half-Life stuff, like a multiplayer map Oh, or well, they're probably... I mean, it could be like a DLC, like a map event or something. That'd that be would fun. be pretty cool. I would learn how to play that game if that came out. <laughs> Just like how Fortnite is introducing TMNT again with a special event sponsoring this Wow. Wow. <laughs> Insert sponsor. All right, uh, Mama Dev, do you want to oh, lead God. us in? Yeah, do you want to lead us in the sponsor for TMT for Fortnite for Epic Games? Today we are sponsored by no one and nothing. Well, there goes oh, our sponsor. But Disney is investing 1.15 billion or whatever into Epic Games to produce more content, just as they laid off a bunch of fucking people. Great. <laughs> just as they did that. Awesome. So it's just like, oh, thanks. And I've never seen a quote from Bob Iger, you know, the, the CEO of uh, Disney and everything, who was like. We see the youngins play video games, so we're going to make more video game stuff. So bring back Epic Mickey. Bring back, <laughs> yeah, bring back Mortimer too. Ha-cha-cha. Yeah, I mean, if they just made more tie-in games with movies, like if there was a, a Frozen 2 game, maybe there was, or a Moana 2 game, that'd be fun. Oh, I'm going to tell you some exciting news about oh, Moana. No. You ready for yeah. this? So originally Moana 2 was going to be a limited TV series on Disney Plus, mm. and now it's going to be a full fledged sequel, and it's also releasing this year. What is this trend? This is the second time we're, we got Mega Mind, and now this. Yeah, I, I mm-hmm. I'm, just, I'm just so confused. Like, what, what are we? <laughs> we're so back into like the recession where we got everyone just like putting well, yeah. whatever they can to get like uh, sequels or out. Or remember the Bush era where we had like Bambi three, Beauty and the Beast two. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't remember that. Sequels, you don't remember any of that. You weren't there for that. Sequels now. You weren't aware of that. JJ and I were because we're yeah, eight. yeah. We're old. We old as fuck. We old as fuck. I know that they existed. I, I wasn't. And they existed. I wasn't, I wasn't really Cognizant. aware of them when they were coming out, but I knew they existed. Yeah, you're I'm just like Cinderella Three was one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that's a lie. Child. It's it's so pretty funny. I see people post nah, books about it. <laughs> or Aladdin Three. Aladdin, Aladdin 3, three or that's only for the 90 heads Aladdin that's only for the 90s heads you guys you ain't on that then you'll like I'm gonna read some of these JJ, how old are you? Uh, that's not important <laughs> we're getting uh inside out 2 this year inside out we're getting Zootopia <laughs> inside two. out 2 that's uh well only those 90s yeah. heads get that inside out 2 anxiety only us 90s heads understand that they're introducing anxiety <laughs> crazy new character anxiety oh that's called freak that's 90 cents coded right there <laughs> what you think those it? of those characters dev anxiety <laughs> and freak the two new characters i, I, haven't, I haven't seen like any trailers or anything i just know trailers <laughs> oh trailers, trailers. yeah there's like oh boy you 90 heads <laughs> we get trailers <laughs> never trailers <laughs> But the, the this point that I'm making is that I, I haven't seen any pictures or any trailers. I just know, like, a vague shape of yeah. what the little anxiety bitch looks like. And oh, people are calling okay. it the anxiety we, thing. And that's what I know This is not how you talk to someone with anxiety, by the way. I actually looked into it and seen it. This is not how you talk to someone with anxiety. Yeah, you don't call them a yeah. bitch at all. It's like very... It's going to be a life lesson. I wouldn't uh, say that to them. Also, I remember... I have this very vivid memory of... Um, I think it was on my birthday. Yeah. Uh, Inside Out was premiering at like oh. a, a movie theater near me, and, That's and usually um, what happens. I was turning like twelve, I think, because I was going to to France soon. Yeah. Um, and you never and left. Actually, you're still there. I well, yes, yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. true. I am here now. Uh, <laughs> Um, point is, is that I went to like an, an advanced screening or like an early screening or something. Oh, wow. It was like a Disney movie. And you know, like when you're that age, when you're 12, you always go to a Disney yeah. movie. And it's you like, still do, well, actually. I can't wait to watch Inside Out for the first 
time ever. This is going to be epic. And, and I'm having an early screening and everything. This is so magical and enchanting. Oh. And then I was so bored. I, like, almost fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> You didn't like the scene so, where they murdered Sadness. Were they what? When they murdered Sadness. It was in the it was in the movie where the whole lesson was we need to kill the son of a bitch, and they got out a machine oh, yeah, gun well, and killed Sadness. Yeah, Joy tried to yeah. kill her. I think. No, no, it and happened. Then the other one died instead. Actually. I think they like you watched the early screening, and everyone said, "Boo, I don't want that." So JJ and I saw the real screening. Yeah, the real screening where real Joy ending. was becoming like a little overbearing, so they recreated the stabbing of Julius Caesar. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty weird. But they did it to happiness. They did it to happiness. For Joy in Joy, this case, who was. And is, sadness. Is Ellen DeGeneres Joy? I forget. Yeah, she's she's still Joy. Fuck. Is she is she still? Can anyone check on Ellen? Is she good? I don't think she has a talk show anymore. She's just kind of just like non-existing. Good for her anymore. She had this show called Little Ellen. L- Little remember? Ellen. Remember? Yeah, it's basically her as a kid, what? and she learns life's lessons, and she learns about Martin Luther King Jr. or something. What? Because it was like in the 1960s when she was a child. I'm gonna put it up on screen. The art style looks very nice. Oh. Uh, everyone involved at the show, except for Ellen oh, DeGeneres, did a great Little job. Little Ellen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's 90 kids remember little ellen yeah the last time we had a tv show the controversial figure yeah little less uh a slightly less controversial yeah can you imagine they made a new episode of little bill where he realizes what he becomes so he tries to alter the course of history and says i'm not gonna be you i'm not gonna be you bill i'm (laughs) that's such an existential concept i actually genuinely love that that should be yeah. like a thing. Like a someone makes like a, a short hmm. film about a cartoon character or Realizing something, and like they become like a terrible uh, person, and like they find out like what who the, who they become in the later season. They're like, fuck. That would be pretty cool. It should happen, to Little I, Bill. I'm gonna go back and rewatch Little Bill, and when the conflict happens, yeah. it like fucks with Little Bill. I'm just gonna cut the episode off right there before the resolution, <laughs> and just, well, I mean, just that, smile. They, they did that in Fat Albert. In the last episode of Fat Albert, Fat Albert goes back in time to stop Bill from existing. What? But anyway. Metal Gear Solid has a lot of news. <laughs> he was close. Metal Gear Solid has a lot of news going. Very close. Uh, new clothes. Supreme. Do you like wearing Supreme? Yeah, I wear, I'm wearing it right now. JJ? I went to a hype beast school. Like, I went to a hype beast high school, and it was all anyone talked about because um, yeah. there was like a Supreme store on the street of, of, of the school that I went to, and all anyone would talk about was Supreme this and Gucci that and, and all these like fucking brands and champion and like shit that I did not care about. So like I, I anytime I hear Supreme or any kind of brands like that, I just instantly turn my brain off. You know like you know like those cool brands? No, they're, you wear lame Nike? And they're too expensive. And Adidas? And no. Nope. You I didn't don't. wear a Nike? No. It's not even that expensive, Nike actually. Nike's just like a brand. I, I don't care. I see the brand, and I'm like, ew, I'd rather get something that I actually like to wear, like goth shit, like Moon and Attic, or whatever the fuck that brand is called. And then you lift up your shirt, and it says Nike, and prints it on the inside. No! <laughs> <laughs> not the Gucci. Not the... Ver- yeah, if you no, wore um, Nike, you'd have like a, th- like a fucking like burned print in your skin, like a devil touching the cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually wearing some Nike stuff right now. Some some shorts. Nike, love them. Nike, Nike. you know what? I love them. That's also who we're sponsored by. <laughs> you know, us ninety kids love our Nike. <laughs> you couldn't if you tried. <laughs> or kind of like I have so much power. You get a nineties kid. No idea. Metal Gear Peace Walker had like a collection of Mountain Dews. Oh yeah. And some guy drank them <laughs> and went to the hospital. That guy's awesome. What's more interesting to me is when I looked at the cans and I was like. Is that what cans looked like 14 years ago? They look weird, like slightly off. What are you off, talking about? You know what I mean? you... Oh. Okay, so you're looking right here. I'm putting the screen. They look yeah. slightly wider. Yeah. Well, it's so they could fit, you know, the, the crystal ball they put in there. The crystal ball? What do you, you mean? You never had a can of... Okay, well, maybe... <laughs> let me explain for you non-90... Yeah, you gotta maybe you're Yeah, not let me explain to you non-90s kids. <laughs> Back then, you, you know, when you open a can Apparently of soda, you, you, you'd open it and you'd finish it, and then you'd shake it for good fortune to get, like, your crystal ball reading oh i thought you meant there was a physical crystal ball in there and you said the drink that around it. is what i'm saying <laughs> brother but obviously it I wouldn't like slip through the drink hole or else you would like come on be logistic about this come oh on, think logically you ever, you ever had those ramen drinks the japanese drinks with the yeah ball they're it? a cheap knockoff they don't even tell you fortune bullshit yeah <laughs> i always try to slap them out to see if i can choke on them so i can get a fortune or something no. Your fortune, fortune would be death. Blue Sky, we're going we're going through all of these. So I thought we had like a consistent topic, but apparently we didn't. Oh well. Uh Blue Sky is now free for everyone. So Yippee. get get on there. We're actually on there now. Yeah. We haven't posted yep. yet. You can find us you can know, find us on, on our main page, Solid JJ. That's the that's our Blue Sky page. Just follow that one. That's not that's the full, the full thing. One. It's Solid JJ <laughs> Fan Club twenty twenty three. No. no. <laughs> or solid JJ Feet Picks No, no 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 no. What's weird is those are those aren't even yours. You just stole someone else's i don't even know why you did that actually well it's just i don't know it's a confidence thing you know what you gotta do 
questions. We have oh, questions, great. concerns. Oh, I love questions. What are you questions. asking us today, guys? Do you actually prove it? Prove that you actually like questions. Yeah, you want to lead us in? I'll, I'll prove it by yeah, lead us in. What's intently? the first question? Cow of Tommy know. Gun. Ryan wow. has them. Yeah, because it's Us 90 kids. You. I know <laughs> this know the first question. <laughs> no! <laughs> I know this is mostly a comic book show. What? Is, is it? it? It's kind of whatever. We need to stop talking about comics. I thought it was a, thought it was a about yeah. show. But what is, what is your favorite book with just words? Mine is House of Leaves. That is one of my favorite Ooh. books. That would have been my answer. No. Dev, go. Dev, go. Um, go. I, I have to think about it. It's been a while since I've read since a book you've read a book with just just words. without words? Wow. It's Can't been a while, read. and I, I don't have my book collection in front of me. It's at my house in America. JJ, you're done. Uh, I was going to say I love House of Leaves. You can't, you can't do that. Fuck you. Just, Didn't I tell you to read House of Leaves, or did you already read it? I didn't read it, it's too confusing. You son of a bitch. I, yeah, it had words remember, going everywhere. I remember liking A Wrinkle in Time when I was a kid. Oh, uh, yeah. I would read that shit all the time. I still nice. have it. The um, lesson was, don't fall asleep under the tree that makes you age 100 years. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, Narnia 2, uh... Like, like, this, wait, God, just it's, specifically it's the second Narnia time. book, or Narnia as well? Uh, Narnia as well. Because there's, like, a bunch um, of Narnia books. Too uh, many of them, I, actually. I think I got the Too original, like, The Lion, the Witch, and the, ro the Wardrobe. Um, but, like, God, it's been so long, I, 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 I wasn't prepared for this Mine question. Mine is, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Circus Clown School. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Mine is Fazbear Frights, uh, issue number seven, Porcelain Doll. That sounds real. My favorite That sounds book? like you actually n named just it. just words. It could that be. That's, that sounds like you could actually be. know. That sounds like you know it. It could be. Is it? Do is you it real? know uh, it? Well, <laughs> I don't know the FNAF lore. I, Are you really it? asking if, if 90 kids don't know Porcelain Doll, Five Nights at Freddy's? Because <laughs> hey, you're thing. in for a surprise. We go to the FNAF wiki and just read no. shit verbatim <laughs> i'm actually partial to the very first issue um ball pit is that oh real? yeah was that your issue with it? stop it fucking it doing it that you know it's real? real you know it's real I you're don't. looking at your you're looking and at I your don't. stack don't. of collection so right now i know man. it i know you're eyeing it right fucking now <laughs> i see it's a right liar out of me <laughs> my favorite book is a classic the hitchhiker's yeah. guides to the galaxy got, got a lot of my humor from that that's actually a pretty cool book what's the name of it dev what's the name of it the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy what do you think it's about I don't know. That's why I asked you. Anyway, uh, so in the first book, Earth Answer gets- Answer me, you bitch! No, 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 no. Uh, Earth gets blown up, and the main character gets to travel across the world trying to figure out who the fuck did it, why they did it, and he gets to learn a lot. There's, I wow. believe, four books, and the last one was not written by the actual author because he died, handed off to someone else, and people that liked me. it. Yeah, it was his name And his name was it? Five Nights at Freddy's. John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> Daniel yeah. Santiago, love this guy. Love this man. The best number one fan of the fucking wow. world. Talk about solo <laughs> leveling. What? So I had a car ride with my friend, hanging out, having a good time, and he mentioned this anime. So luckily, I can actually tell you what it's about. Uh, so it's apparently a reverse isekai, where monsters and shit come to this world, and everyone finds out they can level up, and this per- oh, not level up. It turns out everyone has, like, some sort of power level, which you can't level up, and the main character figures out how to level up. Thank you, my friend who told me about that kind of fucking foreshadowing that we were going to be talking about this, but thank thank you for that. Maybe it's him. What was the question? Wild Dog 333. Thoughts about Last Ender Bender adaptation Netflix. I haven't seen the original show, but I heard it was great, so I might give it a watch before those releases. Actually, don't. Don't do that. Wait until the new Netflix show comes out, watch it first, and then give your thoughts. Because you might actually like it. What was the show? Last Airbender. Oh, Avatar. oh, that's right. They're making a, a live action series yeah. of Avatar The Last Airbender. They're making yeah, a and they're Yeah, it's going to be like eight They're already episodes. ruining it. I don't even know how you can do that. I, I don't understand why they would do that. Because I they want I thought they would have learned from M. Night Shyamalan. The difficult thing with M. Night Shyamalan is people weren't accustomed to long ass movies. So if the movie was maybe three hours long, I can probably forgive it for some of what happened. But also the CGI wasn't just there yet for what we can do now. And one it's thing. Still though. So, kind of needs that, like, fuck, what's it called? Like, extension of reality, like, yeah. disbelief needs... I would have liked if I could, like, story. watch it and, like, enjoy it. It's like if they made Steven Universe live action, yeah. like, this is not gonna work. Actually, I would love Ooh. to see that. I would be there for every fucking episode <laughs> of Steven Universe live action happening. Would have been better if <laughs> And they had good. characters in weird makeup. No, um, I remember seeing a tweet that was like, <laughs> Aang won't be able to, uh, hang around and fuck off and do things. And everyone's like, he, what, are you supposed to be doing that? It's like, it's eight episodes. Yeah, but they're also <laughs> removing Sokka's, <laughs> like uh, 30. sexism, which was kind of like, a no! major thing, was that he was wrong. Oh, no, I... That's like the I whole point of his character yeah, arc, that I, he's I, sexist because of how he grew up, and, and, and then hold he on, learns to not hold on. be. I rewatched the first episode, and they say the word cunt what? a lot. Like, weirdly, <laughs> a lot of times for a kid's show. I know! <laughs> 
I'm gonna censor See, it every I time I say because I don't know if YouTube is, is there. But he also calls everyone a bitch yeah. and other yeah. slurs, and I'm like, yeah. Nickelodeon. And I didn't know you could do he, this. He, he's constantly talking about how how women belong in the kitchen, and that uh, when he grows up, he wants a trad wife, and that he only ever listens to Andrew Tate podcasts. Oh, I was about to. I was trying. I was about to make a joke, but then you ruined it. Oh, I was wow. trying to make it in universe where he's like, sorry, I'm yeah. funnier than you. Oh, he, he listened to Andrew <laughs> Theon Tate Theon or some some fucking stupid avatar <laughs> name. <laughs> you, you see, you can't you can't even come up can't with like a fake it. ass Andrew Tate n- name like. Can you come up I, with a name Andrew Tate name? Name-alike? No, because I'll just say the word Andrew Tate, people will know what I'm talking Andrew about. Andrew Tinnitus. Slam dunked. Andron Toto. He lo- he loves to rest- list. No, that sounds like a fucking Star Wars name. Andron Toto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I have the high ground, Andron. <laughs> uh, Od twenty five. If you're able to choose which superhero could have a single player game, what would it be? Mine would be the Flash or Booster Gold. Would you have choose? to be a superhero? It could be mm-hmm. a super villain. What would you choose? Penguin. Two? That'd be like a puzzle game for the DS. Yes. I, I can see that. What about, what about you, JJ? Because they've actually given a lot of superheroes. Uh, of games and I was, uh, I would have said Wolverine, but they're already doing that. I think mm-hmm. Iron Man would actually be very fun. I know they've tried doing that and done it a couple times, but like, with the, if you use like the Spider Man mechanics, just switch to swinging with flying, you can upgrade mm-hmm. your armor, you know, new shit like that. The outfits can change. It, mm-hmm. it would work pretty well. That can, that can be pretty fun. When I was thinking about this question earlier, I was thinking of maybe a Robin game, but not like in the stupid Goth and Might shit, but like literally just a Robin game. Taking the same premise of Miles Morales, where Batman is out of town and Rama's gonna watch that for a oh, bit. Oh, yeah, make it, make it like make it like a Nightwing game. Yeah, that could be f- no Nightwing is te- Nightwing is teaching Robin how to do oh, shit. Oh, you fun. mean like, like so like you gotta watch Robin? Y- you know, you could do the storyline where Batman's fucking gone in time and you got Dick as uh, Batman and he had Damien as his Robin. That, that could, could be, be fun. Cool. Uh, yeah. We got we got something on the Discord which we were supposed oh. to watch Clone High season two or season three, but then we didn't. Actually, I did. But anyway, uh, Titanic season two of Clone High was terrible. I couldn't even bother to finish the entire thing. I love season one though, and then they made another post. Wait, there's a season two. I thought you were just referring to the reboot. What? Oh, it looks like you gotta watch both of them. Yeah. Gotta watch. There's, gotta watch all of them. There's season what? one, and then Clone High reboot, what? and then Clone what? High reboot season two, and, and then there's uh, gonna be season three. Yeah, I only watched the first three episodes of the original season, and I yeah. got bored, so I stopped watching. Yeah, because only '90s kids. Only us '90s like kids. It. it came out the year I was born. 1973. <laughs> Yeah, 1973. Yeah, way, way back in the 1980s. I'm older than my own mother. (laughs) Than your own mother? Oh my god. (laughs) But as a show, everyone, hope you liked it. Uh, Be sure to like and subscribe, join the Discord. Yeah, follow us on Blue Sky. Fucking follow us on Blue Sky. Yeah, Blue Sky. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye, Uh, goodbye, everybody. Adios. Farewell.